Hello, and welcome to another demonstration of the new features and enhancements of Cabinet Vision Solid 2012 Release 1. I'm Andrew Reby, and I will be showing off the new enhancements that we at Planet have made to the countertops and doors areas of Cabinet Vision. Let's start this off by looking at a new part that has been added to the countertops material schedule. To see it, we need to expand the structural top section. With that expanded out, you can see the new rough splash part. Let me get into a job to show you what this does. Okay, now what we're looking at is the side view of a simple countertop. Thanks to the new part, you can see here that I have a substrate material that is covered by these two pieces of laminate. Now to properly utilize this part, you will need to make sure that you go into the countertop wizard and set the splash item to be made out of a surface and substrate, just like on the countertop itself. Now moving along, I want to talk about some of the new stuff in the door catalog. I've moved the cabinet vision screen out of the way, just so you know. And as a note, the door catalog didn't fit in my capture window, so I kind of cut off the close button here at the bottom. So the first thing I want to talk about is the new default options. First let's look at the default profiles option. You can see here our new checkbox. This checkbox allows you to specify default profiles. As you select the different profile types, such as inside edge, outside edge, etc., the checkbox will change, allowing you to select a default profile for each type. Now let's move on to the Material tab. Just like with the profiles, the checkbox here allows you to select a default material for this door. Now what does all this mean and how does it affect cabinet vision? Well, when we are selecting a door while, say, creating a new job, selecting a door in the assembly editor, etc., etc., the options shown here will reflect the default profiles and materials that we set for this door in the door catalog. Now back in the door catalog, I want to talk to you about the enhancement to the MDF door maker that we added. To show this, I need to switch over to the construction tab. The door that I'm working with is a door template, which allows me to utilize advanced MDF door making features, hence the name MDF door maker. With this release of Cabinet Vision, when I assign a tool set that has horizontal slats or vertical slats assigned as the operation type to the route profile, the door maker will now visualize the horizontal or vertical slats properly. Let's go back to the General Info tab to see this more clearly. Now you can see in a 3D view that the profile is being rendered from the tool set. Let's change the rendered option from wireframe to solid and zoom in a little. Okay, let's let this expand out a bit, and now you should be able to really see it a bit better. Uh, if I bring up a copy of the toolset that was used, you can see how I created this type of route. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration. If you would like more information on Cabinet Vision Solid, please feel free to visit the Cabinet Vision website at www.cabinetvision.com. For those of you viewing this video from eSupport, you can click on the hyperlink in this video to go there now.